back. We've, as a country, we witnessed even uh, serious um, projects, like even voter registration where the IEBC goes out and within a period of about 30 days or 40 days, they go out and register millions of Kenyans yes. and they all become voters. Yes. So it is a process that can happen, Bonagakuya. Uh, if at all people just take time and if it's with the registration that is a problem, then you go out and do a proper registration campaign. We are being deducted money, 275 percent of our gross pay, which is a huge uh, implication to the livelihoods of so many different Kenyans. People expect that with this kind of commitment, then the services would be way better, but it's not happening. Yes, it is a matter of life and death. People are dying. Those with clinical illnesses, they're being left to die. Why? Because they cannot access uh, treatment. One wonders, because it is not a knee-jerk reaction. This plan has been there for over a year the SHIF, how come we transitioned into it without proper registration, without proper plans? And where was the National Assembly when all this happened? If your role as representations of the people of Kenya should be played properly, then this should have been one of those things that the National Assembly flagged and probably said it cannot happen until uh, Kenyans are ready. <coughs> Thank you, Ndimori. And coming to the concern of the, this serious matter, uh, what I would like to say is that uh, uh, one, uh, there is a mystic of transition. Because one, you are not supposed to close the shop, which is shop A, uh, because you are migrating to shop B. Then, uh, today we have a nightmare where you, you realize that uh, all the private hospitals are not willing to give services today and their, 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 their complaint is that in fact they are not sure whether their bills that actually were crossed and cleared by the NHIF are going to be honored. There is nobody who has come to give them assurance. You know assurance has been, the promises has been there but I don't think that it, is, it, was, it was wise to migrate without clearing with the pending bills because that's a major, major, major problem. Today, if you hear from the, uh, uh, from, from the uh, clients, the clients are saying in public hospitals, services are there. But anybody who moves to private, it becomes a, dif a difficult situation. Then how do we do, because the, 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 the a client cannot fit in only this public hospital. So to me, is that if the complaint with the service providers is that uh, uh, there is nobody who is giving them, give them assurance. I think the time frame that was there before the arrangement to uh, migrate from uh, NHIF to SHA, there was to, uh, everything was to be clear. And there was no need to rush. Because by the time that we are migrating, remember we had only 3 million registered uh, members. Comparing that actually our intention was to uh, register like 12 million. What was the hurry? I believe in fact in that particular whole year, the main concern was to make sure that there is, the registration is done. And the migration of registration has been clearly done from NHF to SHA. And therefore, whoever was a member of NHIF, by the time SHA is opening, then you are eligible to get services out of uh, in that particular, uh, that particular insurance. Today, it is crisis that, in fact, some of the uh, some of the sick of the sick people has doesn't know because once you are, uh, assume like uh, those who get what of dialysis services which are very costly services, forced to be using that 1,000 per every services. Nobody is caring what is happening. Then it means that actually Kenyans are left to, to, uh, on their own. Because somebody has to be, be in charge and making sure that things are going on, on the right direction. And in, in, in this particular time, at the moment, I would like to say, we cannot blame the parliament. Because parliament is to make sure that everything is in order. The laws, 
and everything, everything that is supposed to uh, pertain to that process. But we, our problem is the element and the, uh, uh, and the point of implementation. And I would just say, implementation stages is where we get mountains. And I don't know what happens. Uh, at the moment we are in, I don't want to blame the current uh, CS health, but it's like this matter is a completely new uh, 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 and strange uh, thing to her. I think what the technical people should do is to assist that particular CS to perform the duties as required, because the technical people are not new in this. And therefore, they should be the dependent to make sure that the CS is really making things go, makes work. But if you leave everything to CS, and then the, the, the backbenchers there are silent, then waiting the CS to fail, then where are we? Okay, so we cannot blame parliament, we cannot blame the CS. Who do we blame, Buena Socion? Uh, there's an issue of the workers' rights as well. The workers have done their bit. They've uh, worked 